Well, I hope you all had a great weekend. Uh, the Dodgers uh, sweep the New York Mets at City Field and go five and and win five out of six games on that East Coast road trip in that warm, humid weather. How about Max Scherzer tonight going six innings? He he was on a roll. He's two and zero oh against in his Dodgers stint right now. And uh, Max Muncy has been going deep. Same with Will Smith. Man, the Fresh Prince is on a tear right now. What else can I say about the Fresh Prince? He's having a phenomenal season. Meanwhile, the Angels avoid the sweep against the Houston Astros. Shohei Otani leads all of Major League Baseball with 39 homers. And um, I think he and Vladimir Guerrero Jr. are... They're like 1-2 for the MVP in the American League right now. Meanwhile, Fernando Tatis came back and homered for his 33rd home run of the year. Yeah, he'll likely win the NL MVP, perhaps. Maybe Max Muncy will win it. Yeah, so. And the Padres avoid the sweep in Arizona. And um, Fernando Tatis Jr. has moved from shortstop to right field, which was Tony Gwynn's old position. But in reality, I have to say Tony Gwynn is the face of the Padres all time. I mean, Tony Gwynn was a stud. Like I told you many times, he's won eight batting titles, a 338 lifetime average, over 3,100 career hits, very hard to strike out. But El Nino is just taking it to another level. Unfortunately, the San Francisco Giants take three out of four against the Colorado Rockies over the weekend. And um, the St. Louis Cardinals have swept the Kansas City Royals in Kansas City. And the Cardinals win the season series five out of six. But neither the Royals or the Cardinals are going to reach the playoffs this year. Um, well, the Angels... Are a game under 500. Uh, the Red Sox and A's are tied for the wild card at the moment. The Yankees, after losing a heartbreaker in the Field of Dreams games against the White Sox, come back and win two in a row in the south side. That's how good the Yankees are. The White Sox are still good. They're still the best team in the American League Central. And uh, the Tampa Bay Rays still have the best record in the AL right now. Um, the Oakland A's unfortunately lost to the Texas Rangers, so they didn't lose any ground or gain any ground on the Astros. But the Dodgers still trail the Giants by four games. Um, the Milwaukee Brewers took two out of three against the Pirates, so they're still in good shape in the NL Central. Meanwhile, the Philadelphia Phillies have a one-game lead over the Atlanta Braves in the National League East. And at the All-Star break, the Mets had the best chance of winning the Eastern Division. And things really took a dive for the Mets. Just like 2007 and 2008. And um, the Phillies came back and won the division both those years. And who knows what's going to happen during the next eight weeks of the season. Um, so yeah, time's winding down on the regular season. So the Dodgers head home to take on the Pirates. The Angels head to New York to play a makeup game against the Yankees. And Garrett Cole's going to start that game. Then the Angels head to Detroit and Cleveland. Um, well, the weather was very warm and humid on the East Coast, and it was warm and humid here in L.A. And um, that's how it is in the dog days of August. Well, a happy birthday to Scott Brocious and Alan Saget and Tom Kelly. Hope you had a great day today. And same with Ben Affleck. And to Victor Castro. Uh, meanwhile, uh, have a great night, everybody. And I'll catch you all later. Uh, peace out.